Every child of God, including you, has been assigned guardian angels to look after them. However, they may not always respond to you. Here are seven reasons your angels may decide not to intervene. 1. A prayerless life Although it may seem surprising, angels are often inactive without prayer. Angels require your prayers to fulfill their role in your life. If you are in danger but have not prayed, they may not intervene. Your prayers, backed by God's word, are what compel them to act. The Psalm 91, 11 verse reads, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. The key word here is command. You must authorize angelic intervention through prayer. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus could have called on angels for help, but he chose not to, fulfilling his purpose. In Daniel 10, 12, the angel stated, I have come because of your words. This demonstrates how prayer moves the spiritual realm. Without it, angels' actions are limited. 2. Incorrect Atmosphere Angels are highly sensitive to the spiritual atmosphere around them. Angels may struggle to function in certain environments that are overly restrictive or oppressive. Angels, for example, will struggle to work in a church or home that is polluted by ungodly practices. In Revelation 2, Jesus chastised the corrupt church for tolerating ungodly influences, thereby preventing their angel from acting. Take stock of what you're allowing in your life, media, music, and influences that may be contaminating your spiritual environment. Angels will respond as you purify and sanctify your surroundings. 3. A Season of Testing Angels may not intervene during times of testing or faith building. If God is testing you, angels would interfere with His plan. In the Bible, angels rarely interrupt someone's God-given test. For example, Adam and Eve had no angelic assistance during their temptation, and Jesus did not invoke angels while being tempted by Satan. Similarly, angels did not rescue Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the fiery furnace until they had passed their test of faith. 4. Disobedience If you have unconfessed sin or disobedience, Angels may stop communicating with you. Heaven's help cannot be expected while engaging in sinful behaviors. In 1 Samuel 28, King Saul asked God for guidance but received no response because he was engaging in forbidden practices. In Joshua 7, Israel faced defeat as a result of Achan's sin, and God revealed to Joshua that the sin was the cause. Disobedience puts a barrier between you and heavenly assistance. Repentance restores the angel's ability to act on your behalf. 5. Outside of God's will Angels prioritize safeguarding God's plans for you. If you are not in God's will, they may not intervene. In Numbers 22. Balaam was on a path that went against God's will, and an angel stopped him. When we intentionally commit sin or go in a direction that God has forbidden, we cannot expect angelic assistance. Angels will only help you if you are in alignment with God's will. 6. Lack of Faith Angels rely on your faith to guide their actions. When the women came to Jesus' tomb in Luke 24, they only encountered angels after demonstrating faith by going there. In Acts 12, an angel released Peter from prison after believers gathered in faith to pray. If your angels appear inactive, it may be time to strengthen your faith. Declare God's promises, meditate on Scripture, and strengthen your faith to invite angelic intervention. 7. Angels may not always intervene at the appropriate time 
as per God's timing. In Daniel 10, the angel explained that his delay was due to God's timing, not a failure to respond. God's timing is impeccable, even if it appears slow to us. Rest assured that your angels are aware of your situation and will take action when it is appropriate. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel to receive more content.